All right, I'm going to attempt to show you how to use Apple Classroom using two devices. So I have my iPad that you're seeing right now. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to search for Classroom. And so it's going to be that orange one that shows up. You'll be able to click on it. And then you're going to build a class. So the way that you're going to do that is you will come and you'll click on that plus sign in the white. And then you can name it whatever you want to name it. So for example, I could name it March 2021. Okay. Or if you're planning on doing this um, yearly, you could just put your, your name, your class name on it. Okay. You can choose a picture if you want to and a color. So maybe I want this to be um, pink and then I can say done here. So from there, now I would go into that class that I just created. I'm going to click on the March 2021. And now it's going to allow me to invite students. So I can click on this and say invite. And it's going to give an invite code right there. So from here, I'm going to take it and stop projecting on my teacher iPad. And I'm going to move it over to the student iPad. So just a second. So I'm going to stop my sharing here. And now I'm going to come over to my student iPad and I'm going to click on the share screen. Through Zoom. And start my broadcast. Okay, so now that I am on the student iPad. So I can come to the student iPad settings. I don't have to have the app downloaded on the student iPads, just on the teacher iPad. So I will come to settings. And then over on the student iPad, you should see classroom that shows up under the AirPlay mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. So I can click on classroom there and notice it has a new class invitation. So I can come up and click on the add and then it's gonna ask me to put in a code. So on the teacher iPad, a code came up and that code was 4003. From there, okay, my, my information, what I would do here is you can go in and put in whatever name it is. This is a teacher's, uh, actually a teacher's iPad, but um, the students will be able to type in a name right there. So you'd be able to type in that name and then you would be able to click on the add button. When you click on the add button, now it says it's waiting for teacher, which is great. I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But over um, on the bottom down here, you're going to be able to see where it says allow teacher to. You want to make sure that instead of asking, it's going to say um, that it's always going to allow the teacher to do it. So basically, if you need to do something on the teacher end, it's automatically going to push out without having to ask the student's permission. So I'm going to click on always for both of those. And then that's basically all you need to do from the student side. So I'm going to stop projecting from the student side now. And I'm going to bring it back to the teacher iPad and project from that teacher side again. So now I am going, like I said, back to that teacher iPad. So I'm back on the teacher iPad. I'm going to go back into classroom. Okay, so now I'm back in classroom. So Basically, what you'll do is you'll use that same code over and over on all of those students iPads the way I just showed you and a list of all those students are going to show up here. I would probably do five to seven of them at a time. And then once you get those students showing on this list right here, you're going to click on the add button. So once I've done that, I'm able to click on the add button. Those students are going to show up there and then down on the corner of that each student, you'll be able to see what app they're currently in. Or if it's um, the iPad is, is asleep at that moment, it's going to also show that. Um, and it will just kind of be like grayed out right there. Um, for most of the students, iPads, since they um, 
are numbered instead of giving it a student name i usually just put it in by the student number and just number those ipads like one through 25 or 30 however you do it so from here um i've done like maybe my first set of them then i can go back to the right and do the add notice that my number changed before it was 4003 now it went to 4482 but i would just go back into the student's ipad um, on the next set of iPads that I do and type in that new class code. So once I've done that and I have all of my students in here, okay, I can view their screens by coming up and clicking on screens. It will show me what's happening on their screen. If it's loud in my classroom, I could go ahead and mute everybody's by clicking on that mute and it will ask me who's I want to mute, etc. And I can do that. Okay. Um, I can come and maybe I want to lock them so I'm getting them to pay attention to me. Okay, or um, I can, if I have the same app on there, I could actually go to the apps button right there and say which app I want them to use. And then notice that underneath it, it has that lock after opening. So I would go and click on that first and say, I want to lock them into, and then I can choose what I want to lock them into. So maybe I want to lock them into Lexia. I could lock them into Lexia. Okay, so this could work. Um, if, for example, you need them in Clever, you could throw it into Clever. And then once they're in Clever and they're moving to another program, you could go ahead and open that program and lock them into it. And so they can't move out of that program. Okay, um, and that's a great way to be able to view your students on the iPads. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and let me know. Thanks.